do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that, we are studying topic the structure of antibody. Now antibody are termed as immunoglobulins and we all have antibody. Let's study and find out a little bit more about them. Antibody. Suppose an organism is gaining entry inside your body. Now that organism will have some harmful substance present with itself which can cause you disease and that harmful substance is antigen. So whenever there is a presence of antigen inside your body, what your body does is it produces an immune response and this immune response is termed as antibody. So when I say anti it means against and when I say body it means against the antigen. So what happens is your antibody which is always Y shaped or Y in nature catch holds or attaches to the antigen and antigen antibody complex is formed inside our body. Now this antigen antibody complex is recognized by plasma cells, B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, phagocytic cells and further reactions in body is taken out. So antibodies are also termed as immunoglobulins. Now they are basically glycoproteins. They are produced by plasma cells of our body and they are almost Y shaped. The alphabet Y closely resembles antibody. They are made up of four polypeptides. Now these four polypeptides or protein chains if I can simple language. Now two of them are heavy chains which are termed as H chains, capital H. Whereas two of them are light chains which are termed as L, capital L chains. These four polypeptide chains are joined together by disulfide bonds or SS bonds. And there are hinge regions present inside the structure of antibody. structure of antibody and now when I talk about antibody or AB which is an abbreviation or short form of antibody they are basically glycoproteins made up of different proteins and we all know there are 20 different types of amino acids present in nature and this 20 different amino acids assemble in certain fashion to form antibodies now we all know that a specific antibody can be specific to a particular antigen and antigen are nothing but harmful substances of bacteria. So there is always a formation of antigen and antibody complex. Now antibodies are also termed as Ig or immunoglobulins which is another name for antibodies. Antibodies are basically produced by plasma cells of our body. They consist of four polypeptide. Now if I am saying they are made up of proteins then when a chain of proteins are joined together we all know students that the bond that is formed is peptide bond consisting of NH2 and COOH, amine and carboxylic group. This polypeptide basically have two heavy chains or which are termed as H chains and two light chains which are termed as L chains. Now these four polypeptides are held together or I can say simply joined together by disulfide bonds or SS bonds.
the region holding the arm and the stem of antibody is termed as the hinge region or you can say the lock type of region there are two distinct regions the variable region and the constant region in the structure of an antibody now the variable region has the antigen binding site or paratop it is a place where your antigen is actually going to attach to the antibody and form antigen antibody complex students uh, this is a structure of an antibody now this we can term as the variable region or you can say it, it is the antigen binding site at this place or this position your antigen will bind to the antibody and form antigen antibody complex these are the disulfide bonds or ss bonds which basically group or attach the two polypeptides together now this is termed as the variable region the upper two strands and these are the constant regions this is the hinge region where variable region and constant region comes to an attachment this is the heavy constant chain region and this is termed as the light chain region there are presence of disulfide bonds for the attachment of the polypeptide chain in a better fashion at this place also antigen can bind this can also be termed as antigen binding site students whenever antigen and antibody complex is formed it is an indication of presence of an infection in the body basically your antibody can be told as a catching machine which catch holds of your antigen when it gets entry in your body and it tries to show all the immune cells of your body hey look there is an infection in the body we all have to work simultaneously in order accurately and do something about it now when an antibody catch holds of an antigen what happens is all your phagocytic cells whether it is and macrophages neutrophils or new macrophages dendrites your mhc complex t helper cells everything gets activated and everybody tries to function in order to kill that antigen depending upon the type of antigen i hope students you are clear about this concept of structure of antibody thank you